Hey, how's it going on existing YouTube fans? Tragic Comedian here. And today, we're gonna do a different sort of video. One where you just watch these trailers and I describe them and you vote on what I should play next. And the first of the four options is On the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness, Episode 1. Part of the four-part Penny Arcade series. I've played a tiny bit of this one in particular, Episode 1. I haven't played the other ones. And it, it's fun and I absolutely love the Penny Arcade webcomics. So, I've been wanting to play these games for a while. Uh, if I were to play this, it'd probably be like I did Sonic Adventure, where I'd play through one episode, then do a different game, then the second episode, then a different game, then the third, so on and so forth. And, you know, I, I, I've, I'm definitely going to play these games eventually. So, no matter what, they're going to get played. Just not sure if now's the right time, you know? And... It's fun, It's if I remember correctly, because it's been a while since I played it. Character creation, as you can see. Turn-based combat. It has all the hilarious characters from uh, the Penny Arcade web series, plus more that were made for this game. I have no clue what the game's about, because I've uh, like I always go into these blind, so that's something I'm really intrigued about, considering what the webcomic is about, is what the story is. So, there's that. Um... That's option one. Option two, this one's the one I'm kind of afraid is going to get the most options, uh, most votes, that is, and that's, uh, if you can't already recognize it, this is Alien Isolation. This is a game I've been very interested in, uh, again, something I've wanted to play and just been a bit hesitant to. Um, this one's a long one. That's one of the big reasons I've been hesitant to play it, is it's, it's quite a long game. If I remember correctly, it's about 15 to 18 hours to play through it. On top of that, from what I've heard, it's a very scary game. And uh, I love horror, as I've said several times. But my biggest problem is, at certain points while recording horror games, I have trouble getting myself to record them again. I don't know what it is, I just like, I, I'm, I'm a, my, my fear for this, for if I play this game is that after a while I'm just not going to feel it anymore, you know, and it's going to hurt the recording, but I absolutely love the concept of this game and really want to play it, so it's probably something that again is going to be played at one point. If I don't play it now, it'll be a while before I do, probably until I have a place to myself that I can record it in where I can be loud and bodacious and other words and a puss puss as you know that I am um but I couldn't think of you know anything that looked interesting at the time going through my stuff and this was there and I thought you know what I want to play this game fuck it but there's other games I wanted to play too so I put it on I put it on this list of, of games to vote for you know it's a really cool, interesting looking game. Um, I, I know a couple fun facts about it. And just, like, even the bits of the trailer look downright terrifying. And, you, like, as you saw there, you get a gun. And in my experience, uh, horror games where you get weapons get significantly less scary for me and more enjoyable to play. Well, not more enjoyable. They, they get easier for me to play while recording when I have a weapon that I get partway through, you know, because then it's like, I was so scared now, but now I can defend myself, so I'm not as scared, but I'm still scared. So, there's that, so it, you know, it, it could go well. So, yeah, there's Alien Isolation. Vote for that one if you like. Next up is another game that I've wanted to play for a very long time. This is, uh... This is a South Park Stick of Truth game, and if you don't know about this one, it's absolutely hilarious. I, um, this, this one wouldn't be a blind playthrough, because I actually have watched people play the game before I thought that I was even going to buy it. Um, so that, that's kind of going to be a little different. I mean, I know I've done non-blind playthroughs before, but this is a game I've never played, I just know the story of, so... There's that. And pretty much what this game is, you get to create your own character to enter the South Park world, and you get to pick a between four classes, and then from there it just turns into like a standard turn-based RPG, you know? 
Um, it looks like a lot of fun. I love the humor and of South Park. I love the show itself. There's a, like a lot of references that I've seen in the show. A lot of sexuality in the show, as you could have seen there for a quick glimpse. So there's that. Might have to censor that a bit. Not sure. Maybe I'll say fuck it. I'll probably say fuck it. But there's that. Goes through a lot of different... Uh, like, th this game... It, it, it really takes, like, everything that South Park is and just puts it into one big package. And then on top of that, the entire game just looks like an episode of South Park. So, it's something I want to play. And I already know the story, so it's not a big deal. But, at the same time, I want to play it on the channel. Because it just seems like something fun that would be recorded to me. Like, too, fun to record to me. Uh, f fuck it. I just... There, there's that. A lot of shit happens. You get to team up. You get to team up with all the people from like the show. It's so fucking cool. So yeah, vote for that one if you want. Next up is a game I played before a long time ago, but barely remember at all, and I don't ever remember beating it. I think I only played like ten minutes of it. And it's another scary game. It's uh, it's Fear. It's one of the classics. Um, I have every game in this series. So, I'm definitely going to play through all of them eventually. And it's just like, I've, I've never beaten it. I played it, and I remember loving it and being terrified at the same time. Which is a plus to me. So, I, I, I would definitely like to play it, and I'd like to experience the story. Because I've never, like, I've always been intrigued on, like, what the story's about. And, like, what's happening with Alma and all that stuff. But I've never just sat down and taken the time to play it. So, that'd be something. Plus, it's a classic, you know? And everyone needs to experience the classics at some point in their life, right? Hmm. And then, with the second and third one just sitting in my library, you know? It's like, ah, I need to play this one to get to those ones, and I want to play those ones because I've never played those ones. And I'm interested in them, especially the third one because it has co-op, which means I could bring, once I beat the first and second, and I guess all the DLCs maybe, I could potentially bring someone on to do a co-op stuff for the third one and that would be amazing right i mean just like th this I, this one's a like kind of a gateway to a new world in a sense i, I feel like it's not as scary as alien isolation maybe especially because you have a gun the whole time so with that you know you go through anyway description in the bottom or uh, jeez uh, link in the description for a straw poll i created on this also, there'll be links on the videos right here to take you to the straw poll. You can only vote once for one thing, so put your votes in, and we'll see what I do when the video comes up. All right. Thanks for watching. I've been Tragic Comedian. You've been fantastic. See you, Space Cowboy.